Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. You are watching something about Drea. I am Drea. Today I'm here with another makeup look. I talked just a little bit in this video. I hope I did not babble y'all heads off, but I mean, I'm bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. Okay, so I decided to do a makeup tutorial. So this is the look that you guys see here. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned and keep on watching because I'm only a slay away, honey. Let's get into the video. So I've already primed my face using my e.l.f. primer. Now I'm going to go in and color correct using my color corrector by Black Radiance. Just put it on the spot that I like really dark. So my face is a little bit oily today, so I'm just gonna put some of this powder on my eyebrows. Cause I don't want my eyebrows to be shiny today. Well, I really don't ever want my eyebrows shiny, but. So for brows today, I'm gonna be using my NYX Tame and Frame in the shade Brown. I should do an ombre brow. So I'm gonna go into the tail of my brow with a charcoal black, just so I can have that. I'm making a lot of noise, sorry y'all. But just so I can have that ombre brow effect. I'm concealing my eyebrows using the LA Pro Conceal in the color Fawn. In the color Fawn. Oh, I'm trying to concentrate. I don't want these brows to be too thick. Like right now, it's kind of thick. Well, at least this one is. But, oh, they think of this one. Tell me what y'all doing, like. Right? Do y'all go out to get y'all groceries still? Do you do the Walmart pickup. Are y'all doing DoorDash? Are y'all strictly eating at home? Like, tell me what y'all doing during this. Tell me what y'all got going on during this quarantine. Okay, because I'm one of those. I go out to get my grocery still, but I do wear my mask and all that good stuff. But I'm tired of. I'm, I'm even tired of going to Walmart to get groceries. Like. Not complaining, not complaining, not complaining. If y'all hear noise in the background, it's my kids. They're playing. They bored, you know, bored in the house and they in the house bored. Y'all, I feel so good when I get my eyebrows to look halfway like I imagined they would look. Like, I get too excited because my eyebrows just never be right. They don't cooperate. So when they get, like, close to it, Sister, I'm hype. Like I'm, I'm just ready to go slay the world. I'm about to tell y'all a story that happened one time when I used to draw my eyebrows really, really big and really, really black. <laughs> it's so embarrassing because I swear them eyebrows were so cute. Now I'm gonna prep my eyelids. Let me tell y'all this story. So. Long, long time ago, probably wasn't that long ago, but a long, long time ago, y'all, I used to dry my eyebrows on really big and really black. And they were slightly bigger than this, but they were black, and black eyebrows just don't. But honey, you weren't finna tell me that them brow eyebrows was not the business. So I remember one day, 
it was this group of ladies downtown and they was um i think it was some teachers and they had their kids on the field trip and i was getting out of my car it was early in the morning too y'all like so i really wasn't all the way up but this particular morning there was a field trip teachers was you know out in the parking lot and they had a bunch of little girls and stuff with them and this one lady she parked right beside me she gets out and she's like oh my god you're so pretty then she looks then i look up at her <laughs> y'all when i look up at her she was like whoa those eyebrows and i'm all like thank you thank you girl thinking back to that day like she was trying to tell me fix them dang on eyebrows baby because they is too big but me just being me i was like oh thank you she was like whoa those eyebrows <laughs> i think she was trying to tell me the eyebrows was effed up but she didn't say they was effed up she just said whoa and had it not been so early in the morning i probably would have caught the message and asked her like oh they, they too big because i'm that type of person like i don't offend easily so if she would have been like whoa why'd you make your eyebrows so big i probably been like oh they too big because that's just how i am but now thinking back on that day, oh my God, it's funny because I think she really wanted to tell me. Oh, matter of fact, that afternoon when I got off work, I went to my mom's house. And she was like, Drea, why you, why your eyebrows so thick? I don't like that. And then I thought back to that lady in the parking lot and was like, oh, you ain't the first person to tell me that today, unfortunately. Hey, that's a lesson for life too. Pay attention to what people trying to tell you. All right, so for eyeshadow today, I'm going to be working out the Juvia's Place Nubian 2 palette. I'm probably going to dip into some others as well, but I'm going to go into this color right here, Morocco. Where is that? Come on, Morocco. There you go. And I'm applying that using a fluffy brush. This is a Morphe M441. I love this brush, y'all. This is Morocco. And I'm putting that up way up high. And then I'm gonna start to lay colors under it. Normally I start off low and then do my transition up top, but a little something, something. Next, I'm going into the shade Madagascar, which is this brown right here, right underneath it. I mean, right beside it. Yeah, I really love like these browns and orange type of colors on my skin tone. I love, love, love using it as my transition color. That look like it's just my skin, but we're gonna work with it. Now from the Juvia's Place Saharan 2 palette, I'm gonna go into the color, I can't even open it, but I'm gonna go into the color Fizz, which is this corner in the color here. This is like a brown type of color. absolutely love the Juvia's Place eyeshadow palettes, but oh my god, every time I rub my brush in it, it's so much fallout. But the only reason I ain't mad at it is because they make up for that in pigmentation, like, it don't matter because the colors show up so well. Now I'm going back into that first transition color, Morocco, just to blend out this dark brown. Because as you can see, it's really, really harsh. How do y'all feel about watching a makeup tutorial like uncut, like seeing all the mistakes? 
seeing how long it really takes for real for real like without all the fast forwarding would that be boring let me know i think i want to go into nairobi or maybe nefertiti maybe i'll do both let me go into nefertiti first Then let me go right next to her with Nairobi. Slightly on top. Like. Let's do the Nefertiti in the corner again. So this is Yah, which is this one right here. Back into that color fizz in the crease. Then I'm gonna go into the lid with, I'm gonna do a blue. And let's put a even brighter blue on top of that. Now I'm really going to find that gold. So I need a smaller brush. I'll take her. Now I'm going back under my waterline with that turquoise color. I went ahead and added some um concealer underneath my eyes so that it's turquoise so that it's turquoise could show up this is the elf in the shade medium peach so i went ahead <clears throat> i went ahead and applied my eyelashes off camera and my eyeliner y'all i'm on the struggle bus today because i could not get this eyeliner together this is NYX pin up tees and I'm gonna be using my black radiance color perfect foundation in the color cashmere I absolutely love this foundation I just use the little stick that's in here to spread it all over my face All right, and I'm gonna use my Real Techniques brush to blend all of this out. For highlights, I'm going in with the LA Pro Conceal once again in the color, what color is this, Fawn? Yeah, I'm gonna do a uh, makeup haul real soon because I have been trying a lot of new products. So have y'all been doing a whole lot of online shopping, just buying stuff that you really don't need because you're bored? Anybody bought a giraffe yet? I was, I've been buying makeup. That's really what I've been buying online. So while I let this sit on my face for a little bit, I'm about to go in with this Black Radiance Concealer Stick in the shade 8003. Can y'all see that? I'm gonna use this as my contour, and I really like it. Um, look at that. I like that. You gotta use quite a bit of it because, I mean, it's so small, this really ain't supposed to be for contour but 
contour the nose. But I'm about to blend this out with a damp beauty blender. Spray that, spray that, spray that. I think I'm gonna darken my mold. I got a mold right there. And I actually like my mold, so I think I'm gonna um darken it with some uh eyeliner. So this part right here is not blending out how I want. So I'm going in with a smaller brush. And I'm about to set using my wet and wild. So I'm going to fix my nose with this contour brush right here. So I'm going to use this fluffy brush right here to dust away the rest of my face. And I'm going to use the same brush to set. I'm going to set my entire face with this brush as well. First, I'm going to set my contour with Black Radiance in the shade Ebony. And then I'll set the rest of my face. After I set my contour. Now, I'm going to set the rest of my face with my Bare Minerals in the color Truffle. And I'm going to use this fluffy brush. I'm gonna use Elf Makeup uh, Mist and Set. For lips, this ain't really blended the best. Let me see. All right, now for lips, I'm going in with my NYX lip line, lip liner. I cannot talk. Oh my god! With my NYX lip liner. So I'm going to use the NYX in the color Ordanity Days. Ordanity Days. And then I'm going to use Wet n Wild in the shade Never Nude. And then I'm going to use the Hair Store Lip Gloss. No particular order. 
It's just what I'ma do. Alright, I'm back. So all I did was go ahead and add me a little bit of highlight and some blush. And y'all, that is it for this look. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give me a big thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you guys would like to see from me. What kind of video should I be doing? Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time on Something About Drea. Bye.